Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and today we're going to look at how to improve our bunker play by concentrating on our angle of attack. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. And one of the best ways to lower your score and play better golf is to hit the subscribe button, click the bell notification, and then you're notified of every video that I make as they come out. So as I said, today we're going to concentrate on improving our bunker play by fixing our angle of attack. By far the biggest mistake I see most people make when they're in the bunker is they're coming down too steep because they think, oh, the, the, the club has to get down underneath the ball and if I come down steeply, that will help me to get the club under the ball and get it out. And whilst that can happen, the problem is you can come down too steeply and if you hit a little bit behind the ball a bit too far, this leading edge of the sand wedge digs into the, to the sand and takes a fairly big chunky divot. So what I like to try and get people to do is to create a shallower angle of attack. So the sort of thing I'm picturing is when I was younger, uh, which was incorrect by the way, but I was always trying to produce a V-shaped swing and my bunker play improved enormously when I worked out about 35 years ago that if I kept the angle of attack shallow so I keep it more of a U-shape than a V-shape. So I want the club low to the ground and low to the ground. So if I do miss hit it, it's ever so slightly thin and I take a shallower divot. I don't really want big thick divots when I'm in the bunker. So the shallower the divot, the shallower the angle of attack, the better the chances of me getting the ball out. So we'll see how I go. So the ball's come out nicely, that's about a club length away, a fraction more than a club length. You can see here it's quite a shallow angle of attack, it's quite wide but that enabled me to hit the shot that I wanted. It was a pretty simple bunker shot. So if you can work on that angle of attack, it really helps. So just, just uh, to show you what can happen if I alter the angle of attack. So this time I'm gonna try and come down just that little bit steeper. So in more of a V-shaped type motion and we'll see what happens. And I'm, I'm not saying you can't play good bunker shots like that, you can but it's much harder to do it consistently. And we, we, what we want is more consistency in our shots. So it's basically the same setup as the last one, but I am gonna pick the club up a bit more and I'm gonna chop down a little bit more when I hit it. So it was a great shot, but this time the divot is much deeper and I felt the club sticking. So depending on how much sand you've got where you play golf, it won't work as well. So I would be really working on that shallower angle of attack and I think you'll find you'll get a lot better results. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.